three weeks later. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy T Hoop, and I'm back again with another video. And today we're going to take a look at another one, another imported device from China that should make these uh, big time flagships, Samsung, Motorola, or should I say Lenovo, LG, should make them open their eyes a little bit. Wake up! You need to wake up! Because this phone was a fraction of the cost and can legitimately compete with the big boys. Now, before I go over the technical specs and get them out of the way, I'm going to say this. $179 imported. You keep that in mind during this video. Now, to get some of the technical specs out of the way, you got a 5.99 inch display, basically a six inch with 18 by 9 aspect ratio, 1080 by 2160 IPS display. In other words, no, it's not super, super AMOLED, but it is a gorgeous display. And if you're not used to the super AMOLED displays on the Samsungs, then you would think this screen was the cream of the crop because you can't. It's not that big of a difference. You can tell the difference like somebody like me can tell the difference. But if you was just to look at this screen by itself and not compare it to a Super AMOLED, beautiful screen. And I'll show you that when I'm done going over these specs. It's got the Snapdragon 625 processor. Kind of disappointed with that. I, and, you know, I think they should have went with the 630, a little bit more power. But again, I say it again, $179. Got the Adreno 506 GPU. Not a gaming device, but I played some games on here. Didn't have any problems. Had a little, a, a couple drop frames here and there. But again, most games I had no issue whatsoever. Now this version I got. Now I, I've seen some versions. Uh, well, I think they had an international version and they got the global version. I picked up, as you can see there, the global version. I don't know why this ain't focusing. There we go. I picked up the global version, and I noticed on the international versions, the red me there was in Chinese. And in the global version, the red me was in English. And one big difference... I think, you know, someone can correct me if I'm wrong. The international version came with four gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of internal storage. That was the international version. Now, this global version, for whatever reason, only has three gigs of RAM with 32 gigs of internal storage not that big of a deal i don't really care and i'm gonna tell you why in a minute one reason which ain't a big reason why but one reason i mean it don't matter you know what i'm saying i it, it has expandable storage you can throw a memory card in there sd card and rock it out now one of the big highlights of this device is the 4,000 gigabyte battery. I easily got two days, two and a half days, seven to eight hour screen on time and still had some juice left. Absolutely amazing. Cameras on this bad boy, 12 megapixel real camera, capability recording 4K video with an f2.2 aperture. Again, cameras, great. The front camera, absolutely amazing. Five megapixel front camera, 
Great pictures. Great pictures. Now, another difference, I heard a lot of people saying, uh, in, 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 in reviews, and I think it may have something to do with the global and the international. But as you can see here, people are saying, well, don't get this phone, don't get this phone. It won't work in the U.S. The bands don't work. I purposely put my other SIM card in here from T-Mobile. And if this will focus, why is it not focusing? Anyway, if you can see there, there we go. I have my T-Mobile SIM card in there. And as you can see, LTE. So I'm not sure what uh, what people are talking about. Because it works just fine on T-Mobile service, LTE. One big difference on the device too, which I would have you know, liked to see, is on the bottom here. You got regular USB to charging. Again, I wish this would focus. Now, flagship, flagships and other mid-tier devices have USB-C, so I don't know why they did not. However, ain't that big of a deal. Got one bottom firing speaker here. Build quality on this is superb. I mean, it looks real good. Get a wipe down on it. Looks real good. Metal body. I think the tops up here are plastic. Pretty sure. Someone can uh, confirm that for me. Got a uh, fingerprint sensor there. Flash. The camera. Xiaomi branding. Here's that beautiful screen, y'all. Beautiful screen. I mean, as far as anything that would keep me from buying this device or should keep someone from buying this device, I mean, it's just picky stuff. Like, no Type-C charging, USB charging. The speaker on it is mediocre at best. It gets good and loud. You can hear it, but you have to turn it all the way up. Not at, at no distortion, but it just has to be turned all the way up. Uh, you do have quick charge with the regular USB uh, charging. That's why it's not that big of a deal to me. But the build quality on it. The fact that they give they send you a case with it. I mean, there's nothing really to complain about this. This phone, which competes with the Honor 7X and the Huawei uh, Mate SE. I mean, in my opinion, I've had both of those other phones. I do have both of those other phones. And I, I mean, this phone is a lot better to me. It's a lot better. Um I'm going to post some pictures at the end of the video so you can see the picture quality, but I just wanted to make a little short video. Um, not really going to go in depth because I mean, it's basically, I mean, like I said, it competes with the honor seven X specs are basically the same. And I mean, it's, it's nothing really bad. I can say about this device. If you're on a budget again, $179, a huge steal. I mean, this phone is, it performs great. I am going to take some video with it so you can see how good the video is. It's just been a lot gloomy here in Cleveland. So I want a good sunlight day to be able to do that. But I just wanted to make this quick, this quick video. Didn't want to take too much on it. Like I said, there's nothing really bad I can say about this device. Nothing really bad. I think you should pick it up if you're on a budget, even if you ain't on a budget. Nice device. All right, if you like this video, hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel. And until next time, 
Love, peace, and happiness. A few moments later. This is just a little video. I told you guys it was a gloomy day. Look like the sun trying to pop out. The life of Cleveland. This is a little video, 4K resolution. Take a look at my car. Don't don't judge me. It's dirty. I know. Stabilization uh, looks pretty good here. Wish I had some pretty flowers to show y'all, but it is Cleveland. Let's see if I can get some of this green. Color accuracy looks really good. Let's see how quickly the focus focuses it in. Looks like it has a problem refocusing. But again, $179. Call accuracy looks really good on this device. Let me know how the sound is on here too. No filters, no microphone. Again, just a short video. So you can see how the video looks on here. Alright y'all.